We're reading out of the Bible. If you're a believer, contend for your faith. If the Bible doesn't clearly say that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Jews, right? Jesus the Christ is a black man come to save those people. Come show us. Prove it in the Bible. Contend for the faith, as your Bible say. Contend for the faith. Come on, was that it on that? Come on. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And no man will be able to save you. No man, will, because the law in Leviticus, one of the laws of the Israelites was that if one of our brothers go into, go into servitude, they will be able to be redeemed out of that by their brother for money. So no man will buy you means whoever would try to set Mar Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, no man could save us from the captivity of slavery and oppression that we suffer to this day. Right. Nobody would be able to save us. Brother, you got a question? A lot of our people be mad and uncomfortable, bro, when they come up here. We brothers, man. We brothers. You you know about the Bible? You, you, you sure? That it doesn't exist. I'm a, that, you know what we learned that from, bro? And I ain't trying to I ain't trying to attack you with nothing. But we gotta we gotta we gotta learn reality because what's gonna happen, bro. What ha why why do we have all these atrocities in our community, right? Like the the dude that went to Buffalo and shot all our people, and he told you plainly, yeah, I hate the black people. If we don't kill them, then they gonna over uh, uh, populate. You saw his manifesto, right? They released it. Did you read it? Yeah, he got a manifesto. Negroes have to die. So why do, why do they understand that, but our people don't understand why why are these things happening? Uh, who are these people? Why do they feel this way? And it ain't about us versus them. It's not about that. It's not about that. But what the Bible says is our people would suffer by the hands of those people because we break his commandments. That's why. That's why. So the enemies of God, which is the so-called white man, you call him today, he's actually Esau in the Bible. He's the enemy of God. You're real uncomfortable now, huh? Okay, good. Because they're going to start looking. Right? They are the enemies of God. God hates those people. Want me to show you? I'll show you. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to show you Esau in the Bible. All right? And I'm not showing you so that you can hate him. I don't hate him. I strongly don't. I can't. I, yeah, I, I do. I do. I can't. Because I don't like what, he, what they just did, what they continue to do. And then we just keep saying, oh, it's just one of them. It's just that one is crazy. But it's been happening for 400 years. Who have your people been doing like that for 400 years? Other than they self. Yeah, right. Your people don't go in the communities and do that to people. To other races of people. And then say, I hate those people. Your people don't do that, do they? No, not to mine either. Not to nobody's knowledge. It does not happen. Watch this. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. Come on. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. I'm going to say this. You're Jacob. You come from the lineage. Come here, look at this sign real fast. I'm going to prove it too. I'm going to prove it. Or what they say nowadays, cat. If I'm, if I'm just call cat. Is that, what, is that how it works? Just call cap. If you think I'm lying, I need to prove it. Just, hey, cat, bro. Just do that, and I'll prove it in the Bible. Not my words, in the Bible. I'll show you. See this sign right here, right? You see these names? These are the tribes of the nation of Israel, right? These are, these are the tribes of the nation of Israel. Which one do you, would you say you, you belong to? Or which, where do you see your name or your nationality in? Judah, right? It would be American black, right? That's the same tribe Christ come from, by the way. All right? Judah. I'm Judah also. All right? All praise to the Most High God. That's, these are names you find, written, you find written in the Bible. So now when you open the Bible, you'll be like, oh, that's talking about me. Before, the Bible, you open the Bible, it's a mystical fairy tale book. It's like, I don't know who the hell these people are. What is this talking about? This is you know, magic tricks happening. And, because you don't understand it, and we were never taught it correctly. You understand? That day is over now. Some men have been studying and learning this thing for many years now. And we know. Read that again. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. Oh. These, by the way, are the sons of Jacob. These are the sons of Jacob. Right? Watch this. As it is written, 
Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. But Esau has God hated. Now we gotta ask ourselves, when we read that in the Bible, especially being that Christianity teaches us, especially being that Christianity teaches us that God loves everybody, he don't hate, right? We've been taught lies of God. God is gonna kill more people than he say. Brutal. He's gonna be covered in, he's gonna be covered in people's blood. That's in the Bible. Because he hates evil. He don't like, no, he don't, he, people think that they can do whatever they want and pray to him and he hear, he hates you. If you don't keep the commandment, he don't like you yet. He don't like you. Thank you. All right, so you gotta learn that we have, our people have to learn to keep the commandments of God. You understand? So it says, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Uh, 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 Genesis chapter 25, real fast. Genesis 25. She hate us, bro. That's the one that hate us, right? Yep. Yeah, she hate us, bro. Come on. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. And so it says the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Right? We say white people. Show me white. Is your socks white? What people is that color? Show me, show me a person that color. So you sure they're not red? Look at your socks again. This is the witchcraft that we've been taught here in America. Look at your socks again and then look at them. <laughs> and then you, what color are you? White, so how are they white? You're called black, look at your shirt, then look at your skin. Now look at your socks and then look at them. Huh, you see that? Wow, this the witchcraft, the, the manipulation and, and, and witchcraft that we've been subject to since we came here in 1619. Since we came here. Watch this, read it again, verse 25. And the first came out red. We skipping through it because they gonna make us leave. Read Genesis chapter 25, the entire book. You understand? To get the, we just gonna touch the key points though. And we're talking about the inception of the white race into the so-called white race, because they're not, they're the red race, into the world. That's what we're reading about. Where did they come from? How did they get here, right? Watch this. Verse 25, and the first came out red, all over, red all over, come on, like an hairy garment, and hairy as hell. Who is that? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.